Hey folks, welcome back to the Off Grid Workshop. My name's Nigel, and that's my dad in the background there, Roger. And we've got the Land Cruiser 80 Series back in the workshop today. And essentially what we're doing is we're gonna be wiring in these spots uh, with a switch on the dash. And then also I'm gonna be putting in a, a digital thermometer, which I will plumb into my radiator hose at some stage. I'm just waiting for the coupling to actually fit that in, uh, which should arrive in the next few days. So I'll put that in once I get it. But for now, the task today is gonna to be to wire in the switches and run the wire through the bulkhead for the digital thermometer. Uh, so we're gonna crack on with that and show you guys what we do and how you actually get the dash out to be able to uh, put switches and that sort of thing on the 80 series. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful for you. Let's go. Okay, so the plan is that in those two gaps there is where I'm gonna put my switches for the spots. So they're gonna be, it's gonna be a switch for each set of spots. And then actually on this flat bit here is where I'm gonna put my thermometer. So I have to drill a little hole through here to run the wires behind for the thermometer. Um, and so in terms of what I need to do in here, it's fairly straightforward. I may need to take this bit here off the steering wheel, which is pretty straightforward. I think it's just two or three screws on the bottom and then it unclips, which is fine. To get this sort of fascia bit here, which runs all the way through off here, there is a screw inside the ashtray. So you can just see that screw over there. Um, so that's the one screw there. And then the second screw is just here, just below all of these buttons here. And then the third screw is in there next to the choke. And I think this just, pops off, yeah, there you go. Um, that just pops off and you can leave that loose and that allows you to get the actual uh, uh, fascia thing off here. Um, that just unscrews so you can get that off and then get that screw off, take the front fascia thing off and then that'll allow us to drill the holes for the switches and then drill the hole for the digital thermometer. Um, the hole for the digital thermometer is gonna be very small. It's just literally to put cables through. So yeah, I'm gonna take that off and then I'll show you the results. Uh, got this out um, and that's pretty much about as far as we're gonna to need to get it out. Basically just to be able to get behind there and run wires and stuff. So I'm not even gonna be disconnecting any of the stuff here and there's, these are all just clipped in nicely so once you've got those three screws off um that's basically well, you could take the bottom uh, the, so, so this is kind of one piece that goes over here and the bottom section on the right hand side of the steering wheel here is separate uh, but yeah it's pretty straightforward uh, to get this out so i'm actually going to probably splice my power for the thermometer so this is the thermometer that i'm using so it basically has your signal which comes from the actual probe that goes into your coolant and then it's got power i think i'm going to run the power from the cigarette lighter and try and get it from there uh, mainly just because what that'll enable me to do is i don't have to have a relay in and everything it draws so little power that that should be fine running off that and uh, that way i don't have to um, worry about it staying on when i turn the engine off and all that sort of stuff so uh, yeah, I think that's what we are going to go for now. So we've got this off here. So at least we can drill out the holes nicely and we've got some room to work here. Uh, we can pass the cables back through uh, behind all of this gubbins to be able to uh, work with it here. So yeah, good. All right, so I've created a bit of a wiring loom here. I've taped it up with that like, uh, I forget what it's called, electrical. It's like a, almost like a fabric type tape um, just, just to help you're meant to use it for places where there's there could be abrasion in the wire um, and guys also use it to make kind of ad hoc looms like this uh, but essentially i've got five wires in this here so i've got four red and one black and the idea is that one red and one black is going to be the signal from the digital thermometer and then the four other reds are the two uh, spotlights so uh, going to the switch and then from the switch uh, so that's what this is. I'm going to pass it through the bulkhead uh, in, where is it? Down here somewhere. There's a, there. There's a thing that comes through into the passenger's foot while there. So I'm going to pass it through that into the bulkhead. So here's hoping it's not too difficult. <laughs> All right, so we've got the wiring loom coming through the bulkhead there. I'm obviously going to extend the tape around here. And then in here, it is right up in there, coming out there. Currently just loose like that. Passes across there, 
got the dash out. Now the next thing is to try and get it from under there, kind of behind all of this stuff, so that I can get uh, the two wires here for the two spotlight switches. I need to take off a wire off the um, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter there <coughs> to go up so that I can earth the switches and then uh, have the power going to the uh, temperature thermometer. And uh, so yeah, I'm currently just trying to get that wire up around all of this stuff. So that's the current task. All right, so I passed a wire through there and it's come out down here, which I've then taped my loom onto there. So I'm gonna pull that up back through here, feed it through, and then from here, basically pass it behind that thing there, and then up behind all of these switches so that it's coming out of the top here, and then I can work with it. And then when it goes to actually uh, put all this stuff back together, uh, those wires can just sit in the background here. So it'll be sweet. Okay, and there we go. Wiring loom is now out of the top here, which is where we want it. That can all go back and uh, it's basically, if you can see alongside there, it's a bit dark down there, um, but basically it sits behind all of this switch stuff here. Um, so we're good now. Uh, I can tidy it all up, cable tie it all up. But yeah, it's basically hidden there, can't see it. Comes up behind all of this and then back through the, where I want it. So now I'm going to drop a positive and negative wire down to connect to the back of the cigarette lighter. And then we can then drill the holes for the switches, drill the hole to pass the wire for the thermometer, and then we can connect it all up. Uh, one of the things that I will need to do, obviously, is I need to find the wires here and label them correctly. So the way that I'm going to do that is just take the tape off the end, and tape off the other end, and then I will just check for continuity on each wire and do it that way. So here's what I have. I have both sets of wires, or both ends of the wires of the loom. Obviously that's going up through there, and then I've just passed that over the door there. I've got a multimeter set to continuity, and I'm just gonna check each one and then mark them. I'll just put a bit of tape around it. I'll just mark them with a code so that I know what's what. Okay, everything is labeled, so we are good to go now. Just need to, um, terminate these with the right things and then uh, splice in a positive and negative from the cigarette lighter to bring it up here and then we are then ready to drill out these and uh, get those all connected. All right <coughs> so I've got these two wires here which are my power coming off the cigarette lighter. It'll be for powering the thermometer and also I'll use this to ground the switch so that the main reason, the only reason to ground the switch really is just so that the light works. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to put the switches, uh, I think I'm just going to put one and one, though maybe, uh, I think it's going to be too tight to put two next to each other on one of these things. Um, Yeah, in any case, this one actually pops out, obviously for another Toyota switch, so I'm just gonna put one and one, two switches here, and that, that'll work. So, yeah, it's gonna go basically smack bang there in the middle. And uh, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole just with a little three more bit, and then I'm gonna use a step up drill bit to drill that out. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, switch number one is mounted there. So looking pretty good. Plenty of space to get in behind it to put the plugs in. Pilot hole for switch number two drilled. So now to drill the big hole with the step up drill bit. and the second one is mounted there. Pretty pleased with that. Okay, so I've drilled the hole for the wires to go through for the thermometer over there. And then I cut the signal wire. So with the plug here, which this is what I'm gonna join on the other end that goes into the uh, temperature probe that sits in the, coupling, in the coupling in the coolant pipe. So now I'm gonna 
put this through here and I have just enough space to be able to actually crimp the connector barrels on the other side with this uh, through that little hole. I don't want to make that hole much bigger uh, and then I can connect it up to the power and signal wire and all that sort of stuff uh, once I've got this passed through there. Okay, so here's where we've got to so far. So we've got those wires all connected up there, past the power wire back through here which I have joined on to there. So that's getting power from the cigarette lighter. Uh, we also have the loom going off there for the daisy chain ground to the two switches so that the lights work. I am currently just terminating these with the right spade connectors to put onto the correct switches over there. So these are the two for the two outside spotlights. Those, that's the inside spotlight. So getting those done and then I can uh, connect up the other side and see if they work. All right, so this is all wired in here. So now I'm going to do the engine side and then we can test everything. So I've started pulling this apart, but these are the looms and the uh, relays that operate the two spotlights. So I've got a different, uh, different relay for each spotlight. So I'm gonna take these off and uh, wire in the correct wire for the last, each switch, uh, just onto the switching wire. So obviously it's still gonna pull power from the battery so we're not running power through the switch. The switch just operates the relay. All right, so this wire here coming off down there is what came came off the light. Uh, so that's this is basically the signal to tell the relay that it can turn itself on. So I basically took that off the spade there on the relay, connected up to one of the lines there that goes back into our loom, and then back there, Dad's busy tidying up stuff there. And then uh, the return from that switch I put a spade on here, which is going to go on the relay, and then we should be good to test this light. All right, got it all wired in. New relay, so signal coming from the loom that we just put in, and uh, relay for the other set of spots. So that each set of spots is running on its own relay. All wired in nicely, running straight off the battery through the relay, so the switch isn't carrying any of the current, and looking pretty good. Just going to tidy this up. Okay, got this all tidied up here, and uh, this is the send uh, the signal wire from the thermometer. Just got it just uh, loosely tied up there. I'll tidy all of that up when it actually comes to installing that. But essentially, when I install that, I'm going to cut the radiator hose here and uh, put it on here. So that's where that's going to go. And yeah, pretty pleased. All right, so we've got the temperature uh, display over here, thermometer, and it's pretty. I'm pretty pleased with that because this is sort of the view when you're driving, be able to see the digital temperature and the normal thermostat temperature there. So pretty pleased with the placement there, and it's pretty tidy. Obviously, a little hole to let the cables through. It's on the Velcro that came with the unit, and it's. I mean, it's pretty bouncy, but I mean, you're hardly ever going to touch it, even when you're using the signals. You're not going to get anywhere near that. The only thing next to it is the diff lock, which uh, really use that. And then uh, over here, we've got these. Uh, so that's for my dims. If I pull this back, that's the dim, the middle spots there, and the outer spots. Um, obviously that one isn't on because I need to actually put the brights on. So I've got them wired in to actually turn uh, off with the brights on that. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. And the uh, dash is back together, so I need to put the screws back in and then we are good to go. And then as soon as I get that coupling, I will put that in and then uh, got the thermometer in here. So. Yep, pretty pleased. And there we go, folks. Uh, got them all wired in, pretty pleased with how that turned out. Just waiting for that coupling to be able to connect that thermostat, um, that thermometer uh, in. But I'll, I'll do another separate short video on that just to show you what that looks like. Uh, so yeah, pretty pleased with how that turned out. Not too bad of a job, probably three or four hours, something like that. So pretty straightforward. Uh, most fiddly bit was just working the wires through the back of the dash there. That was probably the most fiddly bit, but yeah, pretty pleased with how that turned out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.